Yo, Ricky. Yes, return of the Mac. You good? Yeah, man. I'm What's good. going on? Long time. Yeah, come down for this M5. Which M5? F90, mate. Where is it? I am going to Come in, man. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Shit, man. We just come to a BMW dealership. Jeez, man. There's a random so Audi many, there as well. So many BMs. There's an Audi there as well. Oh, geez, yeah. Aston and... What's Aston that's, doing? That's my dad there. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> what's your dad doing in the Audi, just, man? I don't know. But I'll be <laughs> honest with you. He wanted an X5, but in seven seats, this is more practical. So. Okay. What can I say? So what's going on in here then? Any um, updates? So M2, as you can see, back our car to, wrap has gone. So it's yeah. back to grey. Taking it all off? Taking Selling it, it or? No, 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 no. Yeah. Car's staying. I like okay. this car too much to sell it. Yeah. So that's staying. F10 is now ready to go. Right. So that's been prepped for sale. So be one lady owner. One careful lady owner. <laughs> <laughs> Never been over 200 miles an hour. <laughs> 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 and then uh, we've got your beast here, yeah? yeah so this new is one. new F90 M5. So, uh, we've done about 2,000 miles in it uh, so far. I mean, you'll see when you drive it. Yeah. It's a massive step up. Yeah, from, from the, the F10, road. yeah. The amount of grip it has and the way it can put the power down, even when it's slightly damp, yeah. makes a huge difference. It's like the other day I was coming back from um, the BMW festival and the road's slightly damp. Mm -hmm. You know, when you pull out in the F10, when it's slightly damp and you're going to overtake, you have to think about how much traction you're going to get when you right. put your foot down yeah. with this. It's, yeah. it's just there. Yeah. And you've still got two-wheel drive if you want it. Do you know what the power distribution is with the four-wheel drive? Is it like 50, It's, 50 it's or rear or? biased. Okay. You can feel it's rear biased. So does it, uh, does it step out a bit or...? Yeah, you can get it to, to kind of be to get the tail out. But especially if you want to do that, you just do rear-wheel drive, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah. And it turns all the traction off. You know with rear-wheel drive, yeah. does it have to be traction off? Yes. Okay. So yeah, no MDM, so you have, to, you have to be a driver. Right. So it's just Otherwise, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, any plans with this car? At the yeah, obviously, so far, because um, we haven't had it that long, uh, we've only done the rear diffuser yeah. and these rear inserts right. to change the reflectors from red. Yeah, I see the video, yeah. Yeah, and um, I've just ordered the wheels for it, so we're getting 21 inch uh, 660 Design Crypto, okay. so they'll be here in a couple of weeks. Uh, the inventory intake's almost ready, right. and then we're going to take the car to Italy because Super Sprint are going to do the uh, exhaust development. Right on it, so that so should you, be good. You, yeah, you what was super Yeah, so it will be yeah. full, uh, full exhaust, like downpipes, and then the full rear exhaust, and then yeah. after that, I'm probably going to do a titanium version as well, okay. just the back section. That you're gonna sell? Yeah, that's going to be Evolve product. Okay. Yeah, because we've done it for the F80 M3, so I want to do it for this as well. So this is actually similar engine to. It's the very similar engine. Yeah, it's called the S63 TU44, yeah. whereas the other one was just TU. Right. So it's got slightly different air inlets, slightly bigger turbo. It's been revised and tweaked a little bit. It still meted basically the old emissions regulation, so they were able to use it. 4.4 V8, right? 4.4 V8 twin turbo. And yeah. What's the power? Um, so BMW rated at 592. We yeah. donated it last week, and it made uh, 631. Wow. Yeah. So a little bit more powerful than BMW Quick. Okay. And does it, is it noticeably quicker than a stock F10? From launch, yes. Yeah. On the roll, I would say, if in perfect conditions, on a roll, probably not that much. Okay. But, but how often do you get perfect conditions in this country? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So in real world, this will be faster in, mo on, in most occasions. Yeah, exit in corners, like you say, isn't it? You can yeah, plant your you can plant your foot down, it will just grip. Um, so does that mean, so it's a similar engine, but... Is it gonna? Is it different ECU? Does it mean that it's you've different got to wait ECU? For yeah. Stuff? Yeah. So the ECUs were just uh, cracked basically um, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. So we'll be oh, tuning. It's cracked, so yeah. we've got VMAX coming up in September. So the idea is to have it tuned before end of September, yeah. so we can take the VMAX and see what it does. So what do you reckon it's going to be the sort of same potential? It should be as similar, previous, but obviously or? you'll be able to get off the line a lot better at VMAX in my F10. I was only able to get like um, full throttle at third gear, so I was having to feather the throttle in. Yeah. and then go but yeah I, it, I don't know how much different that's going to make to the top speed but we'll see okay all right let's get in the car then okay let's go cool. big yeah. big plans for this car right yeah so this is just the beginning of the journey so stock at the moment we want to put a bit more miles on it before we start playing around with it but yeah we want to do similar to what we did on the f10 yeah we don't normally go that far to be honest the reason being because i like to do it to a level where customers the majority of the customers want to go to so that then gives us a lot of r d in that kind of power space and we can find out what the weak points are and what we need to address 
Well, the, uh, the Thousand Break M5 that I did the other day, that was you guys basically. Well, yeah, Tommy uh, basically built a lot of that car himself. We did the back end tuning for him and he's running a lot of the parts that we supply, but he's he's quite knowledgeable in what he does. Um, and so he set up a lot of the, the JB4 stuff himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the methanol, or, yeah. Uh, what's the weight on this Imran? Is it heavier than the F10 by any chance? Or? Do you know what? I think it's slightly lighter because of the materials they've used. Well, it's very similar, even oh. though it's four-wheel drive, because a lot of people thought it'd be a lot heavier, but it wasn't. This is insane, Imran. Yeah, steering feels. Look at that turn, yeah. it's there. It's a very short ratio. Exciting. See, the F10 was like, you had to steer a yeah, lot, didn't yeah, you, to yeah, get yeah, it to move, mean, yeah. But I suppose it's brand spoken new, isn't it, as well? And uh, is there different steering settings, like weight? Does, does yeah, so you've got the set settings like that, here, or? so that's in, uh, that was in Comfort, that's Sport. Yeah. And then that's Sport Plus. It's got different damper settings, uh, Sport Plus as well. So it's in Comfort. Comfort, I find for country lens, Comfort's the best. Yeah. So you've got some compliance here, and then you've got the different modes for the throttle as well. So efficient, Sport and Sport Plus. Yeah. Uh, so this car's got the um, sports exhaust from the factory as well. So when oh, it gets right, warm, yeah. it'll, it'll do the slight burbles in the overrun right, as well. Right, right. What's the gearbox like then, you know? You, you, you tell me. Or... You tell me how, how <laughs> different you think it is. Because okay. for a ZF8 speed, it's actually very, very good. There's not. I think if you didn't tell anybody it wasn't yeah. a DCT, yeah. I think they'd have to know the cars really well to, to tell you yeah. that it's, it's different. It's good enough, you'd yes, say, basically. For... definitely. It's going to be interesting though when power starts to increase though, right? Well, yeah, the ZF so in theory should be, yeah, go left, uh, should be stronger than the, the DCT. Well, see, now I can feel that wheel so much heavier than that. Yeah. It's warm as well, I see. Look at that base. <laughs> that is crazy, man, when you look at the speed of. What, that you're getting 60 miles now? Yeah, it's that like, quickly. Yeah, it <laughs> didn't even do anything. Yeah, that, you're just on part of throttle, it's like you use quarter throttle and it's so fast. Yeah, the way it's making me feel, man, it feels so special, like, this is not your ordinary uh, BM, they really are starting to switch up the game BMW, aren't they? The seat's nice and supportive, it's still very sporty feeling though, isn't it? Yeah. And that's still in comfort mode as well. I think I like the wheel in comfort, to be honest. Well, how do you have it? I have it in comfort. Comfort, yeah. Yeah, so that's in support. A little lighter, isn't it? Becomes more nimble, doesn't it? Yeah. With um, comfort. I can't believe how pinpoint it is. Yeah, for such a big car. Uh, comfort is definitely very yeah, agile. Uh, comfort. And you've got these two buttons here as well, so you've got your custom. Yeah, you can preset, set, yeah. So at the moment, the M2 is basically puts into rear wheel drive and turns everything off. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, and forget then... that. <laughs> <laughs> have you done it or? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm used to driving the F10 with a lot of power, so yeah, for me, yeah, it's yeah. It, it, I got used to it. But if someone's not used to that much power and they put it into a drive, I think they'd get themselves into a lot of trouble. Go back around, we'll go that way. Yeah, I'm always a little skeptical with even the Ford Focus RS, like you know, with the different drift modes and stuff yeah. like that. I think you have to learn the car, don't you? So you like need to go to a track and then see where the limits are. <laughs> No hint of anything, just straight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a big lump of power. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so good as well, you know, with the factory sports exhaust. You've probably heard in some of my videos, I am actually not a massive fan of the F10. Uh, the F10. F10 yeah. I like the performance, I know that they're absolute beasts, but from the from the steering wheel, like after getting out of an F8 or something, it's just a totally, which is obvious, isn't it? Yeah, I think a big if you car. compare the F10 to its competition, we know that it's up. Have you driven an F10 competition pack though? No, I haven't. You know why? It's vastly improved in that. Okay. Yeah. But this right now feels amazing. Yeah. Like this is, you know, I feel like I can grab it by the scruff. Yeah. The neck. security as soon as you apply the power man you can feel the power going from the four wheels it's totally different to the f10 you know that shit we've got aircon on yeah just so only because my mic catches it now we've turned the ac off we're getting hot in the name of videos but yeah uh, guys for anyone that's new to the channel this is imran i know uh, some of you already know him, but he owns Evolve Automotive. They're like one of the, probably, yeah, the most reputable BMW UK tuners. Uh, if you've got a BM, this is the place you go, basically. What the hell is going on? 
speed up, man. All these radar signs popping up and it's broken. It's <laughs> craziness. You see it going yellow. Was that yeah, yeah, the go that's the, that's the uh, RPM limit. What's the torque? Uh, I think it was around 550 foot pound of torque, but it's like got a really flat torque curve for most of the rev range. The box, like you said, is good enough, right. but you can definitely notice that uh, it's not quite the seven uh, the DCT, DCT is it? Yeah. Uh, but the but the good thing is, it's not snappy, is it? No, it's very smooth. Yeah, it's a smooth gear shift, so it's not uh, upsetting the balance, is it? It's not it's not breaking traction or an upshift. Yeah, man, this is a um, this is an absolute missile, but you can't wait to tune it. Yeah, looking forward to because we know it's going to handle the power a lot better, especially in terms of uh, traction and putting the power down. So yeah, can't wait. What's your views on the four wheel drive? Because you're like rear wheel drive king, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So for me, <laughs> it's, view, uh, like, I think it's progress. I mean, at the end, of the, I think the F10 M5 had that much power that it could have done with some four wheel drive. Yeah. But this is still rear biased. Do you know what I mean? It still feels like a BMW. Yeah. I don't think they've lost that. Mm. And then if you really want to drive it in rear wheel drive, the beauty is you can switch it into two-wheel drive and drive it rear-wheel drive. So you've got the best of both worlds, haven't you? So base price is around um, like 85, and then by the time you put some options in, depending on what you're doing, you're looking at around 95, some 95, good options. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, at the moment, it's very difficult to get a discount on these, but I'm sure that after a while, they'll, they'll start doing something. So comfortable, which is obviously the main highlight of the M5, right? You know, it's a daily driver. Yeah, daily, well you, it's really comfortable. Take your families on long drives, and then when you want a little blast, you can go for it and probably keep up with most of the supercars that are around. Yeah, yeah. And um, sorry, how long have you owned it, Imran? I've had it for a couple of months now. A couple of months, yeah. yeah. Any small little things you've had to take it back to BM? Or? No, not so far. It's been fine. It's been all right so far. But then we've only done like two and a half thousand miles now. Did Santa Pod in it? Yeah, we did Santa Pod in it, and I I couldn't activate launch control for some reason. I figured out how to do it now. Yeah. But we did it 11.6 at about 126 miles an hour, wow. completely stock, and it was baking that day. So we got the fastest M Power car of the day. So we beat all the tuned F8 EM3s and everything. Wow. Yeah, so it shows you how fast it is. Yeah. So this was stock, and it beat everything. And you didn't day. activate launch. No. So it's got at least another 0.4, I reckon, if we can activate launch. Just in stock form. Yeah. Bloody hell. So that's like nearly in the tens in yeah. stock form. Yeah. If there's a small baby version M3, it is. Yeah, I think if the M3, the G80 or whatever they call it, if that's yeah. going to be like this in terms of feel, but like mm. small, I think it's going to be an epic car. You can really get it onto the limit and know where it is and feel yeah. safe feel doing safe. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Imran man, thank you very much. No worries, Let me man. get my first drive in F90. I know it's only a short one, guys. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, uh, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And remember to subscribe to Imran's channel as well. Loads of content. Honestly, if you're into your quality, you know, uh, YouTube videos, trust me, check out Imran's videos. They're like, some of them, I think the production is better than mine, to be honest. So, uh, especially if you want to see the, same the development. <laughs> so I mean, same level. Um, yeah, if you want to see the development on this M5, and you're also doing some work. You've got an uh, F80 M3 as well, haven't you, Viper? I don't know what yes. you're doing with that. But yeah, so we're doing um, big turbos on that next. So big turbos, you, yeah. Yeah, if you follow the channel, you'll see the progress with that. See you later. See you later, man. Uh, yeah, we can. Maybe just reverse it back and we can do this.